Um, the order, 86. Extremely early in the morning, for me. It's like, God, it's it's like quarter to 10 a.m. Yeah, we're gonna play two games this whole weekend. This and Dying Light. I've been told this is really, really, really short, so. Speed run. Yeah, speed run. Never played it before? Yeah, okay. I never read any of the intel anyway, do I? If any of you uh, um, have watched any other videos I've ever made ever, you will know that I don't pay attention to fuck all. Uh, I don't even. No. Um, so the epitome of this game is gonna be me trying to speedrun a game. Right. <coughs> I'm only going to have the microphone on for non-integral parts. Drowning. I'm not going to skip any of the cutscenes either. You can't. Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, never played it before, as I said. Should be fun. Torture, torture, torture. Time for your morning bath, my lord. I don't think so, now. It's quite fluid. Uh, I want to skip. At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. <coughs> <coughs>
Not so loud, was it? Here we go again. <laughs> You about ready? ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Uh, I can do it. Why, you little shit! The saucy goodness of drowning a man first thing in the morning. He man, a cave man. He does. Ugh, 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 ugh. Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that the werewolf? Yeah, I like him, yeah. Nice. I like him in the game already. I hate non-skippable cutscenes. Yeah. 
hands up. All right, mate. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's what you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. It's a French guy. Yes. You've played it. And it's snowing. Fucking great. The play is over, Gallagher. Surrender yourself. Raise your hands now. Raise your hands. Hands up. Gray. Don't do this. I said surrender. Hands on your head. You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! <laughs> okay. So we started off the story by the end of the story. Well, that's great. Circular narratives annoy me. Why? Because you already know what the fuck's gonna happen. Come in. Right. This is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous of the United India House with the Grain and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? What? We've got a look through with um, L2. I oh, know, click on it. Read the thing. Click. Use that to look around. Yeah. And then hold L2 to zoom in. What the fuck am I even supposed to be looking at? It's that building in front of you, that. Oh. Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? 
Yes. SXM2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion secondary wards need help. Yeah. We may be pursuing better light. Nope. But they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to now. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. Right, so I gather that this is based in a fictional world and everything. Yeah. But how the fuck is that rifle sticking to his back? I've no idea, man. Well, let me sprint. Ugh. I'm assuming I'm going through this door over here because it's the only other door. Right, so clearly not 1886, because they have rifles, automated rifles. Hell, this one looks like it has a freaking grenade launcher on the bottom. Down this side of the building, boys. Oh, right. Let's go to that door. Um, see any other door open? Yeah. I'm on my way down to the street. I'm on my way down. Acknowledge. I ain't killing no puppies yet, fool. Game. They're werewolves, <laughs> so they don't really count as puppies. Do the backwards ladder trick. What do you mean? Grab the ladder through the wall. <coughs> oh wait, this isn't Daisy. Hey, Any word from the Negative. Probably off somewhere in Galavant. Big. Well, himself. I know you're concerned, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm signing the last few castables to their posts. Galahad! See that you cordon off the entire district, and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skilled enough. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. I might care to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he, would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was. You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Be great. Come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Can I sprint now? I'm Ron Burgundy. They won't let me sprint. No, yeah, I've done that. So annoying. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. 
Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Fuck trouble. You. The usual trigger happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. <laughs> it's a perfectly formed M42 grenade launcher. There isn't a monster down here, that was just a streaker. Slightly in fire. Let's reload. I don't know if I can do that. We're clear. Move on. Get out of here. Find some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. Oh, uh, Murphy McIrish. Go. Yeah. It's been years since I've seen that logo. Target down. I swear I'll blast this head into goddamn mash. Help. Get out. What? A press star one. I'm pressing R1 and it doesn't seem to be doing anything, look. Oh, there we go. Take the shot. Yes, I've done that every time. Is he? 
Are you alright? Damn it! Damn it! They're slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of this scum. Smell Rebel it. scum. <laughs> And now I also can't take cover on anything because fucking tables. In the bar. What bar? Fucking hell, I couldn't see what... Fucking... Why smoke grenades? No, look. Use smoke grenade. It's almost as bad as a dwarf tossing competition. That's a Guinness. No, oh, genuine no. stout. Escape me down. Escape me down. I feel the wrath of my gears of Halo Theft Auto 5. We need to get up there. Let's see if there's any ammo. Cutscene! Fucking hell! It's full of them, dude. 90% of this game is cutscenes. No wonder this game's so freaking short. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Oh, yeah. Let me put some things in the other Food. Is it because you should feel a rich folk? Huh? Say no more. Do things quietly. <laughs> Run in and beat the fuck out of everyone. That's what I've done. Fuck it out. I prefer the pistol. Pistol's got paste shots.
Dwarf tossing. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, it's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Luck. Not her, him. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a player. Was she fetching, was she not? I haven't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur, a man cannot fight. You do not fight men, okay? Men, half breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! I didn't get any of that last part. Probably. Um, yeah, I would just like to point out that I still can't skip any fucking cutscenes. Wait, the London Underground exists. Marquis, you and Lady Grant take that entrance. Yeah, we'll go through this one. It's time for any remaining escapees. Mayfair. All right, this is Mayfair. We're going off the white track and off the road. Chapter 7! <laughs> ah, come on! To all knights in the vicinity of Mesa! The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Set to know they're continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escape stations. Acknowledge! Gallagher, are you making any headway? I'm in the general room. Sausages. But I have not met any resistance yet. Why are you going back? Well, for fuck's sake. These are just as bad as Tomb Raider's climbing controls. So it's Assassin's Creed meets Gears of War meets, well, probably Assassin's Creed again. And the 1800s. It's a lichen! Again. Now, more than one. Remind me at quarter to eleven. And what then? Are you needed to take it? 
Fuck! Fuck is a focus thing. I press the X. Left side bumper. Yeah. Werewolves aren't so tough. Well, yeah, it's part of the storyline. Monsieur, what happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. Great, I need your arm gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and hit him off. Understood. Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought I was going to have to watch him climb the entire ladder then. Oh. Fuck did he go? It's a little bit of Assassin's Creed -y here. It doesn't fucking charge in time. What the fuck? I do not understand. Just shoot it. I can't shoot it. It's a fucking art gun. Anyone have any pointers? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get stuck here straight away. I'm not. First of all, there's a new slice of threat on our side. Good. I, I think managed to good. capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Reeves. Acknowledge. Let's go. Like, I need a meter or something to tell me yeah. when it's fully charged and it doesn't have yeah. it. We don't have a health bar or anything. Just... Broken game. <laughs> Sir, what should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Watch. 
purely Please, circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musing, Mr. Bishop. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see. We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Only I. What of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Mais qui? Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre témérité sera requis à un moment opportun. French. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Even though there's so fucking the werewolves place. running around. The underworld of Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. Precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the council. <laughs> I do not understand. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. <coughs> Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. <coughs> When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave yep. it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it's best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? This was 
Joseph's intent in pursuing his investigation. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the Council's wisdom? Yes. You just. This isn't Halo. <laughs> Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend, as you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Yeah. If you would permit me, my lords. Of course, that's a person. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you? That we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure. You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. What are you watching? Whitechapel remains off limits. Hey, that quick. is. Hey, so they were really good, so. You have my thanks, Saluka. For your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the night commander wishes. I'm just saying that. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my your brother. brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabel, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I will not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. I want to kill things. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Do you look after my sister? Won't you? Yes. No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Now you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. What's a brother to do? <laughs> Always at your service, What's a brother to do? Sweet. Ah, Tesla. Just the man. I want a gun that doesn't shoot lightning. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? The police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. AJR. Yeah.
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. What am I doing? It's a. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. Let's see now. Gibberish to me. Nicola, you sly dog. At Sir Galahad. Sir Galahad. Please, this way. I'm standing right here. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternate current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating of certain electrical systems. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. But inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. It must be precisely aligned. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. to avail yourself of the variable magnification. Hmm. 
Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Good shot. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Well, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, mon général? Never accept, always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. Time we to kill everything. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. Alone chapels, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my turn. This is yours, I get to come up. No, no, it's not. Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. You are the least of all. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. I found a thing. Oh, still warm. Wait, what? No. Oh, I see what you did there. I'm talking about my penis.
Anyone got any idea what's going on? Only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in a black hell of coal mines while the captains of industry feast from silver bones. What's the job? I don't know. I swear. She's dead because of you! That woman just doesn't exist anymore. She's dead through this door. What am I doing? Wow, that was fucking ridiculous. Prefer tumbler pins. Oi! There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay? You leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code closet. Give it here. And a fun governor. At ease, monsieur. The quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. It's a whole house. To my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Spam the X button because it does nothing. Oh. 
Oh, cool. Food. Oh, and pizza. Two shorts for nights and one long for nights. Two shorts for nights and one long for nights. For sake! Ooh. I was kind of like I was trying to pick up a grenade. <laughs> Fucking camera angles. And cutscene. Trop facile, hein? I sense that we are not welcome here. Keep your eyes open. We don't want to create any further commotion. Look, Monsieur. God did not save this queen. Lafayette, keep your head down. We need to take out the sniper. Absolutely, Monsieur.
ahead. Take the street. Moving. I imagine more rebels are on their way. They blocked the way. Through the building. Down. Monsieur, I will fight them on the ground. Understood, Marquis. Rebel down.
Understood, Marquis. We need to keep moving and get off the streets. We. Oui. A little help with the wagon, monsieur? A little help with the wagon, monsieur?
Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. Curse of progress. Hand me your monocular. I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Do you see our comrades? Not yet. The overhead rail tracks seem to have collapsed here. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soirée? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank you, Monsieur. Copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please take directives. Sentinel 5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees, assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge Sentinel 5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. <sighs> ah, the smell of pestilence. The Parisian slums are more fragrant, I suppose. Merde smells like merde, monsieur. Anywhere in the world. Do you? Lafayette! Not to worry, monsieur. I'm all right. Time be better spent hunting half breed. Patience, Marquis. This world again. Patience. Always patience. Reloading. Leave that, Jimmy. Get going. Come on, I'll cover our bases. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. Move. I need to reload. Come on, move. Oh! <laughs> 
Stop for a pint, did you? We encountered some resistance. The rebels are better armed than we expected. Those markings look familiar. It's one of ours. Where'd you find this? Follow me. You. There is enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igrain even found an art gun in here. I was unaware that we had lost some of our infantry. We haven't. Here, give me a hand with this one. <clears throat> See what's in there. What did you find? Essex M86. Thermite rifle. They saw their first field action a few weeks ago. This one hasn't been assigned yet. How did the rebels get their hands on these? I'm making it my business to find out. Uh, uh, begging your pardon, sir. You need it upstairs. That's our cue. I believe Mademoiselle requires our attention. The Grain, we're in position! About time! Move out! Mm -hmm. What took you all so long? <laughs> nice. Engage it well! Understood. Take his arms. Gently, monsieur. I am. Ready. Let's move him. We're sitting ducks out here. Take his arms. Gently, monsieur. I have him. Ready. Let's move him. We're sitting ducks out here. Here comes another. 
Monsieur, only a few more feet to go. We're clear. Move in. The knife, go. Galahad, find us a way out of here. Working on it. How bad is it? A punctured lung, I think. Another bullet through the stomach. I think I've found our way out. Everyone stand back. Igniting! Save your prayers, Lafayette. There is no God to help him. Come on. Let's go. Only a few hundred yards away. And these rebel gobshites will be waiting for us. Mon de Dieu! Who built this fucking town? Dead ends everywhere! Quite the shortcut. Brilliant. What now? Lafayette! Monocular! They're hiding behind those columns! We need to press forward now. There's a weak spot in the tracks. If I can get up there, I should be able to bring the structure down. Igrain, Lafayette, I'll need you to provide cover. Percival, with me. Galahad, 
Use the thermite to bring the bridge down. The gray, the mayat, stand ready. The path should be cleared shortly. The thermite is in place. Watch yourselves below. toward target. Find a way to join us. Understood. Hey, where's your commanding office? Over there. Sergeant. Sir, what are Majesty's knights doing? Why haven't you secured the perimeter? We heard things up there. Safe to stay back. Bugger safety. Do you hear that? Where are the rest of the rebels? Exactly. It's dead silent. Something's not right. Galahad, did you? I saw it. So what? Half-breeds. They're converging from the hospital. We need to disperse them. Quickly. Call it in. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. Do you copy? Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. On standby. Sentinel-5, requesting an immediate sonar payload drop. Confirming Gorton payload deployment. Requesting visual beacon for target location. Oh, damn it. Who has a transmitter? Here, yeah, monsieur. Use my communicator. Well, the lad's useful after all. Well. Locking on beacon. Releasing anchor. Gorton deployment in five. Incoming! All devices off! Run. That's our window. Go! Find out where these bloody things are coming from. I'll cover the rear! Monsieur! You will need this. Be careful, my friends. Always, Marquis. Let's hope these work. What does your fabled instinct tell you now? I'd say we should be prepared for anything. Nothing special in that. Admit it. You're getting rusty. God's blood. What could have happened here? A bedlamites again, I'd say. No telling how many they might have killed in their escape. Look, there. The exit is on the other side. Let's find another way through.
Weapons out. Fuck! What a nice oh, Shit. We're clear. The gate is open. We have a way through. Stay alert. Trouble coming. Piss off already. Shoot them. Kill them both. Rebel neutralized. Uh, back off, damn you. This way. What is it? Who's Percival talking to? No one. Just some old sod off the street. Well, let's move. It's only a matter of time before the Lycans regroup and return. Patients have been mauled. The Lycans weren't the only ones to run rampant here. Time has taken its toll on this place.
Hey, mate. Izzy. Did you hear something? We have company. I could have sworn someone was talking. Gray, one of us should search the basement. Agreed. I'll head downstairs. All right, I'll go this way. Get on the comm if you find anything. Problem.
Yes. It's me, Izzy. I lost you on the car. Where are you? Triage room. I found a mark. An elder. An elder? Here? This doesn't make sense. Let's hurry. The half breed is hurt and out for blood. Can you open the gate? I'm trying. Find something to pry it open. I'll clear the debris on this side. All right. Let's see. 